Hello again, Herd. I am a Herdsman. I am Mark, and uh, I'm alone today. It feels weird not having Grant uh, next to me here, but um, uh, this is something we're going to be doing a little bit differently for a little bit. Uh, he has got some things he's working on priority-wise, and so I'm going to be doing some food reviews. He's going to be doing some movie reviews, things like that. And uh, so I wanted to kick off today. First of all, thank you so much for subscribing. We are at 920 almost, something like that. And we are just, we're so close to 1,000. I cannot wait till we hit 1,000. That's going to be really cool. We're really uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and I think at that point, we get that uh, email from YouTube saying, hey, you're really growing and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's been, gosh... 18, 19 months or something like that, but it's been fun, and, that, and that's what this is all about for us, so we hope you're enjoying the journey as well. If you have not subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications so that when we put out new videos, you can uh, uh, be alerted of that and you can come take a look at them. Okay, so today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. This is a candy taste uh, test, and it's, it's one for me. First of all, let me take what we're doing. We're doing Hershey's chocolate bar, okay, versus a Sam's Choice. Uh, let me get that way up there. Sam's Choice milk chocolate, okay, um, because I like chocolate. I like just plain chocolate, you know. So uh, I, I've grown up with Hershey's bars, and I really enjoy Hershey's bars. But when we talk to people from other countries, for Great Britain, for instance, um, we I hear constantly, "Oh my gosh, your chocolate tastes like wax." Okay, so this is what it is. I'm going to try a little Hershey's, uh, little Hershey's chocolate, and this is how I like to do it. I like to just kind of suck on it until it breaks down. Now, I can get how this would be construed as, as, as uh, you know, kind of uh, plasticky. Not for long, though. Once it breaks down, and I know this may be a little gross, okay, <laughs> but bear with me, because I think this is an important distinction to make. Okay, so it's breaking down. What I'm tasting here is what I grew up tasting chocolate-wise. This, this tastes like chocolate to me. This tastes good to me. I like this. It tastes like uh, a hard version of hot cocoa, okay? Let's take a little bite. There's some body to it. People that have uh, different chocolate in Great Britain, for instance, Germany, don't have that, that, that kind of body to it. They would say this is plastic. I kind of like it. I like the depth. I like to be able to chew the chocolate just a little bit. Now, having said all that, I'm going to try the Sam's, okay? And this is what those look like, a little bigger. I'm going to break off a small piece, though. So this is Sam's Choice, and it's trying to be what a Lindt bar would be, a Lindt, L-I-N-D-T, uh, maybe a, a Toblerone or a, um, what's that other one, uh, Ghirardelli, okay? That's what it's trying to look like, trying to be. Price-wise, this, this says it's a product of Switzerland. Price-wise, this uh, for 3.5 ounces was a buck ninety-eight. This was a buck seventy-four for seven ounces, so twice as much for a little bit less. Okay, so this is not as plasticky. Okay, it breaks down faster, but there's a distinct difference in the flavor, and the flavor to me. This doesn't taste like traditional chocolate to me. This tastes sort of nutty. It, it tastes like there's a, there's a nut flavor to it, like a hazelnut flavor to it. There's not, okay, I don't think. I'm going to look on the... No, hazelnut paste. Hazelnut paste is in here, okay? I'll let you see that. Uh, hazelnut paste, right? So... That's a distinction to me that in my chocolate, I don't necessarily want. 
I, I want chocolate, right? This says Swiss milk, milk chocolate. Now, apparently, Swiss milk chocolate has hazelnut flavor to it as well. Uh, the flavor you'd get from Nutella, something like that. So do I, do I prefer the more expensive chocolate? No, I don't, I don't think I, I prefer it. But I think we're talking apples to oranges here. I, I don't think we're, we're being fair with this. Hershey's chocolate, which I grew up with, is what I'm used to. It's, it's the same argument that I would use with Pringles. We talked about this before. Pringles. I love Pringles. They taste great. Do they taste like potato chips? Not really. But I've been trained to taste them and to, to say, okay, that's good. That's a potato chip. Is it a potato chip? No, it's actually ground up potatoes and they make them, they form them, right? But, but are Pringles good to me? Yes, I love Pringles, okay? So this may not be technically what chocolate is worldwide, but this is what I prefer, right? I mean, this is what I'm used to. This is what I enjoy eating. This, the Sam's, um, you know, maybe if I want something a little bit different, a little special, I suppose, uh, but I, do I want to pay the, the extra price? No, it's a reasonable price. I mean, compared to the Lint, which is another buck, or the Ghirardelli, which is another two bucks. Um, but is it worth it to me? No. I would much prefer having just the Hershey's. So, um, if, if I'm giving it cows here with the uh, Sam's Choice, I'm going to go with a two and a half, okay? Uh, I, I just don't think it was that great. Um, with the Hershey's, you know... God bless America, three and a half. I really enjoy Hershey's. It's my go-to. That's what I'm going to be eating. So there you go. Hershey's, big yes? Eh, maybe not. So anyway, um, that is all from the Herdsman today, the Herdman today. Uh, I will be back with some more videos uh, very soon, hopefully uh, uh, some new foods you haven't tried yet. And as always, until next time, well, make sure you subscribe and do all that stuff. And I thank you for doing that. We really appreciate that. Uh, when Grant comes on, please support him. Watch his videos as they come through. They're going to be coming through this channel. I think you're going to enjoy them. That guy knows more about movies uh, than I will ever, ever, ever know. So I think you'll enjoy those. Anyway, until next time, remember, don't be afraid. Boy, it's hard to join the herd. You heard?